Oh, okay, bon dia. It's um, Sábado de Maya, Saturday morning, and this is kind of a town square. There's a little central park here um, towards the middle of town, and the mayor's office is right there, actually, is the mayor's office, and behind that is one of the more expensive hotels in the area. Um, so after having a, a great breakfast and some uh, even better café, uh, um, I've got about four hours to explore some of the interesting water features and geology here before my next tour, uh, which starts at 1. So we'll make our way there, and if there's any interesting things, which there will be, there were some kids playing soccer here yesterday, um, we'll try and get them on the way. Uh, I don't want you ladies. Calm down. All right, um, so be prepared to be, uh, be uh, asked multiple times on your way to these even short trails. Most of us is on guide. Do you need a guide? The answer is no, you don't. But yeah, you know, I think he wanted to charge him like ten hay ice, which is just, which is nothing. Um, but you don't need a guide here. One thing I noticed is wild lantana growing here. But this is what I came for. So there's all kinds of conglomerate um, rock down here. Um, very old rock. This is where uh, people from the town come and wash some of the laundry for the downstream. Uh, there's some colored sandstone in that direction. Caixuera Primavera is towards the left, which is we're going to hit first. And then we'll kind of explore all these little pools and nooks and crannies and things. But um, there's also a great view from the town below. But that's why we're here. And um, we don't have much time. So vamos a lot. So this is this uh, conglomerate, which keeps all this water up in, in pools. Um, gravity takes most of it downhill, but it does form all these little pools which you can go in. There's a tint to it which is mostly iron. Um, I don't know that you'd want to drink this stuff or not, but uh, all these you know, caverns up here. Uh, and during the day when it's you know warm and sunny, a lot of people out here just chilling and relaxing. It can get slippery around here, so you do want to be careful. And uh, Brazilians just can't help themselves when it comes to selfies. Whoa, parakeets, holy shit. I, oh, here we go, Lower Falls. We're gonna go this way. I hear most of the water down this way. I may backtrack and take that other trail because I don't think this really goes to any particular location. And uh, if I gotta ride the toke tails of that taxi driver with those Brazilians, I'll do that. I'm not above that. That's it. Okay, so I, <laughs> I did catch up to those Brazilian girls. Because you, you can hear them over the waterfalls. That's how you know they're near. It's the only thing louder than the waterfalls are Brazilian women. All right, yeah, there they are. Nice. Pocahontas. Um, this is really, really cool. Nice. Okay, bypassing the Brazilian women takes me, looks like, to the head of this fall. Um, just some giant erratics here. So there's some conglomerate, a lot of granite. Um, a little bit of sand. Oh, what's that mean? It's uh, just an alien visitation site I'm not aware of. Yeah, there's no mistaking that pink colored rock, that's for sure. Look at this. This is incredible. One of the other beauties of this place is it's just so close to Lensois. It maybe took me, well, if I didn't get lost a few times, it probably would only take about 30 minutes to get here. So it's very accessible. All right, we're making it to the top. I wasn't quite sure I'd find a way up here. Nice. Nice! Wow. That seemed so far away earlier. But all this rock here is just incredible. Oh, those are not from aliens. That's amazing. That's something you'd see up north uh, with, with glaciers doing. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Baia. Bonita. 
So a much more sandy conglomerate in this area. Totally different uh, material on the ground. And you could probably snake along this for who knows how long, but uh, pretty impressive scenery nonetheless. Just got back, you can see there's a tour group heading out from here, um, which with all those people, that's really going to be a slow day for most of those guys starting to pick up. So we're going to head down that way and uh, see what we can see. That's it. So uh, the young man up there in the green uh, offered if uh, I wanted to take a uh, a, a tour, and I said, now we got enough, I'm returning my Posada, but so you don't have to pre-book this stuff. You can easily get here, pay here. You're probably going to save some money too. The guys on the internet are going to want to um, uh, charge a bit more than the guys here. Now, is everyone here licensed and registered? No, but um, you know, use your use your gut like you would with an Uber or a taxi driver. If you don't, they feel a little funky, they feel a little off, and just don't do it. But uh, you know, these guys are going right back to the community, their local folks, and um, they're it's not a hustle necessarily. They're just trying to put some food on the table, and most of these guys, the overwhelming majority of these guys are, are straight up, and they want uh, visitors to have a good experience here. This is a small, close-knit community, so it's very safe. Everyone knows one another here, and um, it's, not, it's not like that everywhere else, that's for sure. Oh, this place just keeps getting better and better. It seems like every time you duck around a bush or a rock, or a cave, there's just something new to see. It's just a different view every time. Down there is the Jodoviaria, the bus station. Um, and I'm actually gonna walk that way and across the bridge come in from the north into town when I go back. But this is fun. You really could, you could spend multiple days just exploring all these little areas here. Um, this pink granite is just incredibly smooth. And there's some turquoise in here. Um, it's not slippery, which is, makes getting around here possible. You really have good traction. Uh, I wouldn't want to do this in flip-flops or sandals, so a good solid pair of even running shoes. You don't need boots or hiking boots or botas. Um, but as long as you've got a good pair of uh, sturdy shoes, um, you're going to be just fine. Uh, I don't know if you can hear this or not because uh, over, the, over the water, um, but I had this whole place to myself. I mean, the, the tours are on such a regimented schedule, and it's low season now, that it, if you time it to do first thing in the morning, you got this, this is just your playground. I mean, I ran into one group earlier, um, but no one really interfered. I mean, it's just, I'm doing whatever I want to do, not because anyone else is in the way of what I want to do. So I've got this entire, this, this whole place is my playground. It's like my private playground right now. It's just crazy. All right, this is kind of where we end. Um, this is where Lensois gets its name. It's uh, Lensois means sheets, Portuguese. And uh, when you look far away, you can see people doing their laundry down here. It's a pretty daily occurrence uh, all day. Anyway. I, uh, I would take that over the laundromat, to be honest. Company and the weather is a whole lot better. All right, taking the long way back to my Posada. That is the new bus station, which has replaced the old, hold the area, the old bus station to the left of that school bus there. There's a mark on it, which is about uh, eight feet above that door, which marks a high water level from the flood they had back in like 2008 or so. Um, that's the flood. That green is the, is the wa from the water treatment facility. You don't see a lot of that down here. Um, but it goes to select hotels and homes. I guess if you're rich enough, you can buy into it. But uh, the town right now is really calm because uh, most of the, the, the tourists are out with guides right now. They're on hikes and stuff. Um, so I kind of like the idea of having a bit of this to myself with the just hordes of tourists out of the way. Right by the river, there's a market here, which I didn't make it. To, I don't know. Last night, uh, I needed food and sleep, but uh, I'll hit this place up tonight. See what they have. This is a church down here, which faces the hotel, and then looking southward down into Lenswiss. Lots of papaya around here. Tons of papaya. Oh, 
well, little boutiques, little shops. Vendors are not aggressive only if you want to guide. Part of that is just they don't want to have to look for people when they get lost. So there's some self-interest involved. This is the only place where I felt I can carry both my camera and my phone in each hand at the same time. I wouldn't dare do that anywhere else. Um, but here, I, I just don't think that's a problem. I would really have to go out of my way to find trouble here. Um, it doesn't find you, like in most places. All right, it's about 12.30, and I need to swing by the office of the guide to drop off payment um, right before our trip leaves at 1. So uh, right now there's not much going on in town. Uh, and that sun, it's, you can see it's clearing up. The sun is just a furnace. Uh, so I've got sunscreen out. I got a little red yesterday. I should put some on earlier. Um, at least my face and my neck got a little red. So, yeah, you just don't underestimate the sun. Oh, nice crown of thorns. Uh, just seen us. Hi. Uh, so that's, that's the plan. And then uh, we should be back after dark to check out the sunset. I do have some warm clothes with me, actually. It's supposed to be kind of breezy and cool up there. It does cool off quite quickly at night. So you throw some breeze in here on an already dry environment, and it gets chilly pretty quick. Uh, okay, that's it. So this is inside the, the market, which isn't happening right now, but uh, this is kind of towards the middle of town. I see some giant agaves out there, along with some even more big uh, papaya trees. Those papayas are just everywhere here. Um, and I've only seen a few that are fruiting. But this is the market area at night when the vendors are selling their wares, and most of them. It just doesn't make any sense to, to come down here now because it's just so few people to sell stuff to. It's just not where they're, they're out doing laundry or whatever. But, um, yeah, that church.